Hello and welcome to episode 42 of the Offline TV podcast. Today we all have hand mics because we're in Mammoth in a special cabin because we just did a special shoot and it's the holidays. So um, I'm joined here with Joe Dazier, Evo, and J Dog. Hello, Hello, I'm Joe Dazier. Hello, not Evo. Oh, it's Evan. Sorry. Evan. Not Evan what either. Evan? Just pick your poison. That's too Evan? Many. I didn't, wait, He's I didn't Evan. want to be for that. <laughs> it's Evan. It's been sealed. Hey, nicknames, man. Uh, yeah, so we are in the snowy weather of the upper mountains of the Sierra Nevadas. And for the audio listeners, we have a nice fireplace with a Christmas tree uh, right behind us. And in front of us, we got a s'more set up with butane. Is it? Butane's cool. Butane's cool. <laughs> Butane's cool. That's Put cool, that right? knife away. No, knife. Oh, I hate that. Sharp. <laughs> really? Wait, what is it? On set? But that's is the it? only Point. thing I have. Points. <laughs> Points. I understand. Yvonne is now roasting a marshmallow yeah. with a knife. Evo getting right into it. Well, we have to improvise. Improvise for right. If right. we really want. What's your smoke? rush, dog? <laughs> oh, I feel like s'mores are so much better in theory, and then I eat one. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, they're really sweet. I'm joining they're you. They're like, they're like good in theory. What and if then, we have refined s'mores? What if we thought things? Yeah, about like-, like I feel like a s'mores with a Reese's or something. I think it's the graham cracker that I dislike. Fire! Oh my god, it's over. <laughs> so what do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Before kick us off. Burn this place down. <laughs> Marshmallow me up first. Yo, who made me, who made this tinfoil come, come, contraption? If I sit on the She's floor, using a thermometer. Am I in, can we am have I like in? a large bowl of water or something over here <laughs> just in case? No, we're fine. We could blow it up. A huge thank you to Tokyo Tree and Soccer Co for sponsoring today's extra cozy episode. We're thrilled to share these incredible monthly snack boxes straight from Japan, Tokyo Tree and Soccer Co, so you can experience Japan from the comfort of your own home. So first up, we have Sakura Co. This box is a treasure trove of Japanese tradition supporting local snack makers. This month's Holidays in Hokkaido themed box is packed with 20 artisan treats, including delicacies and a special piece of Japanese tableware like this month's indigo yuzin dish. Oh my god, wasabi pistachios? That's bomb. Mm, right? Whoa. The authenticity and craftsmanship of Sakura Co snacks are simply amazing. And now Tokyo Treat, the pop snack subscription box. This month's box is a snacktacular Christmas party of Japanese flavors, featuring up to 20 exclusive and seasonal snacks. So we're talking about unique finds like Kit Kat, strawberry, chocolate cake, the Christmas cake gummies, and the Christmas crunch mix, and some delicious looking ramen. And if you're curious about any snack, both boxes include a handy guide with cultural insights, ingredients, and allergen info. Wait, these are so that. cute. Like they're From, strawberry oh, they're gummies, big. but they're in cake shape. No, it does. Cute. No, these ain't bad. Every month, it's a fun-filled bonding experience as we explore these boxes together. To support our podcast and join the Tokyo Tree and Sakuraku family, click the links below and use code Offline TV for five dollars off of your first box for yourself or a loved one this holiday season. So, um, I learned that snow is cold. Oh. Uh. As a guy that only like only stayed and grew up in California, I think the furthest I went was Oregon, but it wasn't during like winter like seasons. It was just like I've always like shorts and hoodie, call it a day. But every time I come out of here, my perception of winter is from like Game of Thrones and Christmas movies. I'm like, dude, they're wearing like t shirts and like jeans. I'll be chilling. I'll just bring like a big old hoodie, call it a day. Always underestimate it. See Jody in like five different layers. <laughs> yeah. My thermal, my undershirt, my yeah. shirt over that shirt. Puffer. My puffer jacket, my Mittens. snow my snow boots, my wool socks. I got two gloves. I have Yeah, even your gloves, yeah. you do two layers. I grew up in Washington. I, I've been in the cold. I just I really thought like- I didn't like winter. But I, I came pretty layered up this time and it was a pretty good time. Yeah. I think being or enjoying the cold is simply just being prepared for the cold. Yeah. And then it's fine. But once you're not prepared, like you, you got cold feet, it's, just, it's unbearable. I mean, I don't know. I grew up in Canada where it's like negative 30 and I still didn't, I I think I still underestimate no matter what. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I'll be good with this. I'm, I'm Canadian. It's fine. What was, what was the coldest for here? 20 something degrees. I heard like in 10 digits. Oh, I think coldest was like 15. Yeah. 15 or 14. So like what's cold? Freezing. It was snowing the other day. I would say like once freezing, like 32 degrees is cold. That's cold. We talking Fahrenheit or Celsius? Fahrenheit. Ah! 
I keep really a water. She keeps Two strikes for you, though. It's been three or four the goal months. is to constantly move it, so it doesn't. I'm imp- yeah. I've been impatient. I've been sticking them closer, <laughs> closer to the fire. <laughs> I just want to cook already. Your knife also is like not gonna hold on to it. Yeah, it's melt. It's gonna get gooey. She's a and rookie. Then- <laughs> God, listen. I'm listening. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit more, and I'll put it on the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about today? Recent events. Yeah. I mean, we've had a bunch of birthdays. We've had Thanksgiving. We're gearing world. up for Christmas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Why don't we start with Thanksgiving? Okay. How was Thanksgiving for everyone? I loved it. We went to John's place. Um, oh, yeah. We, we visited my family. Yeah. And it was so fun. There's like 20 people full of just John's like friends from random times in his life. From middle school to high school. Um, and his family is always just really sweet. It was fun. Yeah, seeing how your house operates makes a lot of sense yes. for your personality. It explains really? so yes. much. Wait, what is it? Like, what are the giveaways? Like, his dad is... We, there's Nerf guns that he's giving yeah. out, and no one is safe. I'm sitting there, and John's dad just shoots me in the neck, and I'm like, oh, it's like that. Wait, yeah. It's like <laughs> but that. But that sounds hella fun. Yeah, no, he it was incredibly care. fun. Um. He Honestly, shot me, like he shot me in the neck. Child. Sydney yeah. starts laughing. He's like, "What are you laughing at?" <laughs> Shoots her in the neck. Ah, oh, God, what is going on? Like, it just, Wait, that's sick. It's a yeah. war zone. He <laughs> shot me in the eye. Luckily, I I like closed my eye because I saw it coming, and it literally hit my eyelid. And I like looked at him and was like, "That hit me in the eye." And he's like, "Gotta stay strapped." <laughs> no one is safe. No one is safe. Gotta stay strapped. So it's always been like a very big thing. My dad l- just loves Nerf Wars. It's just my mom is like, if I find five Nerf darts in the property or in the house, everyone's grounded. And we're like, okay, deal. And we start like running out, getting in position. Mm-hmm. Everyone in the house gets a gun. This time he brought, he bought Llama Fortnite. The Fortnite yeah. Llama Nerf guns. Oh, yeah. There was uh, like 20 of these guns floating around. And then he has ammunition boxes. He's just passing it out everyone. Yeah. He was an arms dealer and he's like, this was not his first rodeo. No. He opened up a first case of, of ammo. Yes. Like as people came in, like he, he'd greet them, shoot them, say, here's your gun. And then like he'd open up a pack of ammo, give everyone a few bullets. And then when he noticed that like reserves were getting low, bullets were getting lost, he'd find another pack of ammo, open it up, redistribute just to keep the war going. He just wants chaos. Well, yeah. It was so fun. Nothing but chaos. Oh, you can eat that. <laughs> I just like making them. If you have it. I just like the marshmallows. I just don't want to spray marshmallow goo on the carpet here. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's just too big. It's too much. Too crumbly. Too messy. I'll hold on this for a bit. Let it dry up a bit. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Evan. But I I think the, the, like, most clear signifier for me was actually your older brother. Because your older brother was, like, setting up rock band while... Eight people are just having a shootout around him. And it didn't phase him at all. Unfazed. <laughs> he gets shot in the head, shot in the arm, and just like, oh, anyone have a coaxial cable? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's awesome. Yeah. It's a nice tradition. Um, Wait, you guys got to see Central Cali? Slow County? I loved it. What do you guys think overall as your tour guide? Super nice. Also, everyone very friendly. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. John was making friends with everyone. Wow. What? Yeah, like we went to like some board shop and they're like, yeah, hey man, you got to check out this place and this place and this place. Oh, true. Everyone's, yeah, everyone's very friendly and like they like talking about uh, places uh, for us to check out. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> we were standing outside with Sydney and, and the dogs and the guy's like, your dogs look nice. They can come in. And then they just started like fighting on the, on the carpet within the shop. And it was, yeah. Yeah. And, and the, the shop owner's just like, ha 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 ha. I love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was really nice. He told us to, like, the, the only reason we went to that comic book shop was because he recommended it. Yeah. Mm. It was neat. Thanksgiving sound lit. It's a nice change up from LA because mm-hmm. everyone just kind of keeps to themselves in the yeah. shop. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one the, thing I know about They get through their shift. Yeah. And I understand. <laughs> they all look like they kind of hate their lives. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> they seem a little jaded. Yeah. How was your Thanksgiving, Yvonne? Yeah. It was good. First we, of all, you're Canadian. Did yeah. you celebrate Canadian or American Thanksgiving? Okay, so I was actually born on Thanksgiving in Canada. And I thought it was always cool growing up being like, I was born on Thanksgiving. And then I realized my parents had to be at the hospital all of Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, wait, I didn't think about that. I kind of sucked for them. 
Um, but yeah, I'm more used to now. I never even remember that there's Canadian Thanksgiving. I feel like I've just fully like, oh my god, I don't want to say I'm fully American, but like I just You're now, immersed into the American culture. It's because everyone around is like, oh, I'm gonna go back for Thanksgiving, blah blah, and this. It's all everyone in America. I'm like, oh, that's right. It's Thanksgiving. That's still a thing. Um, we just we ate together with like Lily and Scar and them, and I think Alan made food for everyone, like some delicious like god damn japanese like wow thing with egg whatever it was Ooh. delicious yeah that and then, sounds like a good thanksgiving mm -hmm. well it was and then lily started playing um skippity whatever <laughs> okay what is this i was. don't know what this the is toilet guy what you don't want to see it man you don't you don't wait what like skippity dop dop that or what you would like it what Jody would hate it and you would like it. Oh, it's like a board game? No, no. no. <laughs> it's no. a video. It's like a lot of episodes. And each episode is like 10 seconds long. Yeah. It's some guy what? on YouTube is make, makes this thing called the like, Skippity. I think he uses like the old, um, what's uh, what's that valve? Uh, it, like, it like looks half -like really two dated. Engine. Okay. Yeah. I, I think they use like the, like the Gary's mod? Yeah. Like Source or Gary's mod to make it. Okay. Um, to animate this? I think. Okay. But it's like just these weird, absurd, like man, like human head coming out of a toilet body. And like, there's this whole like uh, arc to the story because he's made what hundreds of these videos. So many. Is it good? And all of them get like tens or hundreds Ooh. of millions of views. Um, Dude, do I live under a rock? People have started compiling. All kids that watch. Oh, it's for kids. Yeah. Well, so why does Lily watch it? She's got brain well. rot. She got that. <laughs> she got that TikTok brain rot. <laughs> People, people started compiling like the story arc of each because there is a story throughout <laughs> all of them. So they're oh. making like hour long videos. No, that's no like filler cool. episodes. Yeah, exactly. that there's there's a story to it. Whoa. With the, ki the kitchen garments. Like that. That. Wow. I don't want to see it. I'm going to be so real. I don't want this brain rot. Lily this whole weekend just been saying ar, 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 ar. Well, I, I, feel, I don't even know the tune. If we've seen the disease, you have to see it too. Oh, okay. No one is safe. Skippity. Can you cast it to that screen or no? There's no way. Um, let me see. Is this LG fifty five LN? It is an LG. Gotta be. But there's also people under us in their <laughs> part and they just blow up on their TV. I might have actually cast it to them. <laughs> also, the people downstairs, I put my okay, this is what children watch. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm very confused. I was not now. expecting Okay. Wait, is that a fan made thing or is that like no? The actual... This is the real. This is a real one. I'm very no. Yeah, so like this feels like very, source. The source confused. animation. Yeah, yeah. Also, our TV went off, which makes me think it's gonna randomly pop up there <laughs> at some point because the connection's so bad. Just jump scares. Yeah. Yeah, just lagging a little. Oh my god, marshmallow was so good. Yeah, I don't want one. <laughs> There's plenty. I have I'm, so, I'm so working on this more. You can keep cooking. Wait, it. you put it back? <laughs> no, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm having it later. It was just uh, so hot. Oh, you yeah, literally wait, put the uh, whole thing can back. Can you fill up the plate for us and we'll eat them like during or after? You liar. You're not going to eat it. I'm also telling you, this, just... you want to try new utensils? Like the temple ain't that bad. So, like, we got some, we were given utensils. We don't have sticks for the marshmallows. So, we've been given a spatula, <laughs> bottle opener with knife, thermometer, knife sharpener, thing. a knife, apple peeler, apple peeler, and a Tin foil spear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But nothing's oh, inside it. It's just foil. I'm having an epiphany that there's a lot of individuals in OTV that are born on Thanksgiving. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Or well, around it. Which makes me think I feel a little left out. Oh. Well, do you know why? February? Yep. Special day in February. Mm hmm Yeah. Mm -hmm. The love mm -hmm. day. But it's just crazy that like there's actually like what's the what are the chances? It's Canadian Thanksgiving and then uh, right. Toast American and Scar, right? What? They're on the 20th, right? They're on Thanksgiving? It's a lot of parents right? celebrating yeah. Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. I didn't think about that. Yeah. It just makes me think like I should also be born on Thanksgiving as an OTV member. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It's a requirement now. Kind of yeah. missed the mark a little I'll bit. I'll change my, my birthday. Yeah. What is your, what is your birth sign? It's a Libra. Libra. I'm a scale. Everyone gets like a cool creature of some sort, and I'm a scale. If you ever become a furry, you should be a scaly. What? That's Scara's. I can take his. I can take his thing. You Whoa! Be... Don't let him gatekeep you. Whoa! Well, well, I guess it, it works out for Scar because he's also hey, going fire. to be. Fire! What? Oh, never mind. Like... Oh, holy oh. shit! Oh. I was gonna look at like for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You know, mine gets awfully more toasty than yours. Yeah, you're going like. 
pure blue flame. Broden is a. I forget every time. Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces, Pisces. I don't know. Final answer, Pisces. Pisces. Final answer. Yeah, you got it. Damn it. See, even he's a fish. What are you? Uh, Virgo. Virgo. John is a Gemini. Uh, You can't fucking trust me. Are Virgos (laughs) are Gemini? What creature? What creature? German? I'm sorry, what? What is a Virgo? Are you like asking what the emblem? Like what the, okay, it's the maiden. So you're like. It's a human woman. It's a woman. woman. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what are Gemini two? Are they the twin Two face. He's two human women. Mm -hmm. Isn't it like two masks or something? Oh yeah, I think two masks. I don't remember. Yeah. But there's no inanimate object. Yeah, like why am I that? Like everyone gets like, you know, crab. Like fish, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're an item. Why scale two of all things? Do you guys know if you are um like fully a Gemini or like if you're on the cusp? I don't know. No, any of that stuff. I don't know any of that stuff. Never mind. Do you know what time you were born? Eleven twenty-eight p.m. Sometime in the morning for me. I think is I, I was like around like two a.m. I think. Mm. I think it was late. My dad always flames me for it. He's like, you're not you're not gonna take out the trash. Your mom, your mom gave birth at two in the morning. <laughs> you kidding me? Mine was similar. Like, mine, fine. I think mine was like 5 a.m. or something. Like bad, which means that they were in the hospital for yeah. a while. Yeah. I don't think I ever get to know, which is why whenever you download those apps and they're like, what time are you born to have an accurate like blah, blah of like your star? What's the other things? What do you mean? Like your, like there's your planets? Like a, there's like yeah. a second. You're rising, you're, you're waning, rising, you're waxing, yes. you're mooning. I, you're mooning they're not accurate because i don't know the time I'm yeah born. wait is it on your like birth certificate or anything i don't know someone's the, gotta know i've Canadian never seen one. my birth certificate it's weird well actually this really confirms my theory that you ha- you were spawned i don't yeah, think I you were hatched. born i don't think i think your parents aren't real hatched me in a laboratory we we were trying to get a photo of broden's parents he would not show us it was kind of suspicious didn't have one it was handy. so suspicious like i want to say it took him at least Two days? I think Brody's we're a clone. Out of sea. We're out of sea. I didn't have any Wi Fi. Sure, man. Really valid excuse. I'm telling you, Broden is an alien. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. Sorry. Continue. Next topic. Next topic? Well, we're still we're kinda of talking about birthdays. My marshmallows are birthdays. I don't know. I was just trying to get rid of or we can continue to talk about birthdays. How, well, I'm actually I'm curious because like we were gone because mm-hmm. Pismo, but uh toast. Michael, mm-hmm. Lily, mm-hmm. Scara, mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. all November. I'm the October. Yeah, October. <laughs> uh, but you're all birthdays close together. Yeah. Do you ever just do like one super birthday? So the previous years, um, it was always just the November birthdays that would ever potentially have like a super birthday. So because mine was so close that it wouldn't make sense to have like and, but it's also too far away. So if anything, I think the previous years, me and Peter would yeah, have our birthdays yeah. together, and then, and then it would be like OT, like the rest of OTV November birthdays. But even then, I feel like they always had it separate. It was always like Scar because Scar and Toast were after. Like we'd have one for Lily and Michael, and then Scar and Toast. Yeah. Also, it's still so weird to me that like they're born on the exact same day. It, I'm telling yeah. you, it's like w- weird. <laughs> it's like a weird coincidence. Yeah. Well, all of OTV. I don't know, man. Some someone was cooking. <laughs> it was written in the stars. Yeah, in the stars, <laughs> literally. <laughs> I don't know. Birthdays were always like that. We always just knew November would be crazy because it's not only OTV birthdays. There's like all of our friends. A yeah, fuckload of there's them. So are many. In November, and then there's the holiday. Yeah, and then the holidays. It's a lot. It's a lot. Holiday tradi- traditions. Anybody? Really don't have any other than going home. That's about it. Like yeah, growing up, did you guys ever have like? So like uh, at my on the twenty fourth because we would always celebrate on the twenty fourth instead of the twenty fifth. Uh, my uncles and aunts, everyone would actually wrap all their gifts in blank paper, and then Ooh. so kids could draw and like oh. color on it, and then everyone had their own drawing for that year. And that was like an activity, and then you open your presents. I love that. Yeah, that's a that's great tradition. I'm stealing that. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have anything? No. I'm trying to think <laughs> of like what because it's a norm for me, so it's hard for me to be like what is technically yeah. Like, you know, yeah. No, yeah. We opened stockings first, always, and that's where my parents put all the good stuff. Really, the good stuff, quote unquote, Santa. Yes, tiny stuff. No, it eventually got to the point where like the Xbox would be under the stocking, and the stocking be full like nuts and like socks and stuff. (laughs) But 
And my mom just, I think, well, this is true. My mom basically like had terrible Christmas growing up. So it was really important for her to give like me and my brother really great Christmases. So she would always work in the holiday season to buy us really good gifts. And so she wanted to forever like create this super magical Christmas. And yeah, Santa was real in my house for a very long time. And if even if kids at school said, Santa's not real, I'd have to go home and be like, Santa's, Santa's real. <laughs> Santa's real mom. I believe in Santa. Um, but yeah, all the good stuff was in our stockings. One year I was like, I don't know, maybe it was like eight and they had this, my little, no, wait, <gasps> what are those? Wait, okay, okay, hold on. There's Easy big ovens. No, no, no. My little pony. They're furry and they're animals. Oh, Furbies? Furbies. <laughs> but not Furbies. Oh, I can't remember, but basically they're like semi-realistic animals that are interactive, but they had a pony one year and it was like, not a life-size pony, but it was big, okay? And you could sit on it. And I wanted it so bad. And my mom was like, no, you're not going to get that. And you're not going to get that. Boom, Santa gets it for me. And this time, Santa, I think Santa's real. Best Christmas of my life. I come downstairs, a pony. Oh, no, on my stocking. Damn, your yeah. mom got you good. Yeah, she did. Wow. Christmas was special in my house. My parents stopped trying to put an effort to make me believe in santa once i hit a certain age like it used to be like oh let's go into like toys r us pick out the one you want mm. and i'll I tell santa so pick it and then, and then I'd go in the car and then we'd like leave right as the years go by we i pick it i saw my dad like hey wait in the car he goes <laughs> in, <laughs> buys it i see it through like the see-through gray bag at walmart and then he like puts it in the back seat of the car one year he put it at the front seat of the car. i was like you guys don't even care at this point man <laughs> like you stop putting in effort your dad's like yeah, Santa's real. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mom like healed her inner child yeah. through oh, that's so cute. us. Ooh, that does remind me. My mom would use a specific colored pencil. That was it was like four colors in one drawing, so it looked like really cof- colorful whenever she drew my name. And that was mm. Santa's pencil. Only Santa oh. could get that pencil. <clears throat> and I get like one piece of a PC. Make oh, Ram came in. I grab my PC. what. <laughs> <laughs> nothing's changed i'm like dude yeah santa's least- like this john kid wants ram <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna get legal like at 90 fps this year it's gonna go crazy did you guys ever like question your parents like interrogate them like is santa real or not no it was a pretty like quick switch for me where i it, it always happens at school where like someone at school is like santa's not real it's the parents and then i heard that and was like oh that makes sense <laughs> Actually, no, I lied. I did. I asked my mom. I asked my dad once and then he got mad at me because because he was trying to keep he was like, like he thought he did a good job of like he, he just got mad for whatever reason. I didn't believe in it anymore. Like you stop putting in effort. Like, are you serious? How could you get mad at that? Well, I never told my parents that I like found out, though. I just kind of let it keep happening. And then I want to say it was like four or five years later, like as a joke, I was like, so is Santa real? And and they just to kind of see how they reacted, and they were like, "What? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about?" <laughs> and then I think in that they they knew what I was getting at, and so they were like, "If you want to keep getting presents from him, yes, and you do not tell your sisters." Both my brother and I knew. My mom was like, "Santa is real." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was different. I didn't find out from school. I just remember thinking, and I was like oh my god it's my parents so then i did become a detective i was like looking at the cookie and i was like hey can you bite this and i would have my mom bite another cookie and then like throughout the years the bites would get like weirder like my like my parents (laughs) would like bite a bigger bite or i would like they would write like santa letters and stuff and then i would go into my dad's office and they look at his handwriting but they would write it with their left hand or something damn i know you were smart but they were smarter i know my parents were like i'll never know yeah (laughs) and then yeah yeah what what broke it for me was my so my brother was the agent my older brother he's older than me by seven years he would always convince me that it's real and we'd be on the Wii looking at the global map he's like yeah this is where santa stays i'm like no way <laughs> he stays there like that's crazy <laughs> so cute the year we we were late because we just stayed out. i think we were coming back from a road trip and we made santa a turkey club sandwich with all my dad's <laughs> favorite condiments i'm like oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah so my parents also like, did that where damn. like we're like oh we don't have milk uh i'm sure he'll like lemonade he's like wait a minute <laughs> huh, okay like, you guys think that kids nowadays would find out about santa or have parents like telling them about santa more likely or no like 
I feel like it's the same. Like, I think it's insane. so magical for kids that they try to keep it for the most part. I just wonder if, like, technology would fuck it up for them, you know? Oh, yeah, the like, kids look up, is Santa real? Yeah. Like, you could just we Google We should just it. skew the Google. Like, everyone should just say yes on the internet. This yeah. is true. So, Santa is real. <laughs> Google, does Google still take, like, the top post of subreddit and, like, put it in Google Images? Because we can Ooh, make that happen. Know. In the in the OTV subreddit, if we get like 3K upvotes, <laughs> yes. it'll just be on the number one Google. We could also sponsor one of the results to come up and be like Santa Israel. Oh. Do you think that we're breaking it to someone that's listening to the podcast that Santa I is not real? I was just thinking that. Yeah. No know. way. If Santa is real, if you think he's real, because the magic is in your heart. Yeah. See, Santa is real. The only reason we're saying this is because we've been getting coal, so we don't believe anymore. Yeah. I, I've been getting so much coal. I'm actually just projecting. So much. I'm putting it in my pillowcases now. I just don't know where to store it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Keeps me warm in the winter, though. I yeah. use it to cook now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Santa. Speaking of that, curry was bomb, Yo, We went out man. to a lake, twin lake here in Mammoth. We tried doing hot pot. The wind was blowing out the fire. <laughs> Hour later, sun goes down. It's really cold. We come back to the Airbnb. Yvonne has curry. Oh, and it was like it the was best crazy. curry I've ever had. It was box I'm not yeah. kidding. Wow, it was so good. Like the chicken in it. And yeah, the it just it was so wow. Good. It was so good. That's funny because I like you guys came in and you guys were like ho- everyone's reaction was the same. Like holy fucking shit, is that curry? Like as <laughs> if there's like as if you guys like went through hell and back. <laughs> like it was like it was like it just smelled so good. Like you walked in and instantly, it was yeah. just. Curry. You get yeah. punched in the face with the, that curry scent. Mm, like, we were walking is. up the stairs being like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> and brought a Hanin all day. Yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like 8 p.m. by then. I, yeah. At first, I was just going to make one pot because I thought we were having hot pot for dinner. But then I made two and then it wow. worked, out. It worked, it worked out. out. It worked out so well. Oh, oh thank my. God. Well, do you guys think we're going to do another uh, winter camping trip? <laughs> um. But her, what, what's the survey no, on no that? No spoilers, but... Uh, um, <laughs> um, I mean, I'm down. Yeah? Something absolutely crazy happened. You guys will see it when the video comes out. Yeah. But something absolutely crazy happened in the newest yeah. OTV camping part I'm two down. video. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, maybe, may- maybe... Which, in case you didn't know, yes, we, we did a second. That's why we're here. We shot a second camping video, a sequel to our first one. Um, after the events of this one, I think maybe we'll think about a different area, you know? Yeah. We've, we've tried winter camping. Maybe yeah. we try, like, beach camping. Oh, no. Know. It's going to be like Survivor. I'm going to be blistering high in the sun. I'm going to have to buy sunscreen. Yeah. City's going to be so excited <laughs> for that, why? though. I, I want to oh, know, why no. is it always pain and suffering that sells that, it? Huh? I have. I got to talk to someone, you know? Yeah. I, we got to bring it up with the how boss. How come it's Who never, like, boss? OTV goes glamping? Or how come it's How's never, like, OTV goes to, like, Disney World? You know, something, like, awesome. Yeah. Well, okay, the thing is, like, like, campers are watching like our original camping video and being like these guys can't do that <laughs> like camping is like not i don't know how to know how to put it into words like the camping is so normal and mm-hmm. like just to have this normal level and then you guys are like we can't do it it's like a funny kind of you guys are glampers you guys i am a glamper no i used to camp so much as a kid but now that i'm older i am a glamper mm-hmm. i am wholeheartedly mm-hmm. i want running water and a warm place to sleep at night but when i was a kid i was like Whoa, yeah we've done it whatever we've done it all. you know i'm like camping with my friends all the time yeah but now i'm, I'm over it yeah i'm getting old i'm jaded backing the same as it now. used to be we have uh noah our producers in the back corner over there and he is an avid camper both of us have camped a lot and he'll sometimes run stuff by me and be like, do you think it'll be okay? I'm like, I don't know, man. I think they're, uh, <laughs> they might need a little bit more help. And he's like, really? Okay. All right. I guess I could give him this. And it's like, yeah. And then, you, and then the video plays out and you're like, yep, we did, mm-hmm. we did need mm-hmm. to give them a little yep. helping hand there. A lot of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> also, to be fair, camping for us is not like oh yeah, set up a little fire and like have a nice time, enjoy nature. No, it's like, get your ass to work. You don't get to eat until you fucking earn it. Yeah. <laughs> so eight hours pass. I'm like, I want my wind spam, please. <laughs> Even the first, shit in a hole. <laughs> so Mary, it's like, okay. Dig your like, poop hole now. It's really not. We have get to your 10 coins. You don't just bring your spam to camp and you get it. You have to earn your spam. Yeah. You have to be like, hey, you have to build your tent first. You have to get a fire going. You have to jump off like the fucking 
plane or something, do a backflip into the woods, yeah. find Climb a bear, that tree find a whatever, now. and then you can get your fucking spam. <laughs> it's like come hungry or don't come at all. Yeah, you're not allowed in this it video. Unless you that, come it, hungry. It's a spark to it. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I am always genuinely hungry. starving. It's not yeah. like a fake thing. Like I, we are all starving. <laughs> yes, and, and then, then we see that. <laughs> I yeah, ate this hot dog. I'm like, this is the best thing I've ever eaten in oh, my life. Oh, the hot dog was so good. So fucking good. I was like, I didn't I didn't know hot dog could be this good. <laughs> Honestly, whoever's cooking stuff for you, they are God. They are like my new favorite person. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like Lily tends to just like, there's food, I will cook it. Yeah. I'll cook it for everyone. Dude, my mm-hmm. dad's here nomin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what if OTV just goes regular camping? Yeah. Like we don't have to work for it. Non torturous camping. We just camp. I mean, I'm sorry, is that enough content for you? It's just not enough I have to suffer? I guess the viewers can decide. You maybe, guys. Maybe, are maybe what we don't have to do is chase views. Maybe we just chase authentic great time and they will say, oh my gosh, what that was such a joy to watch because look how much fun they're having. They're going to say or, not oh, enough so pain. so boring. <laughs> <laughs> they're such good friends. We need to break something. No pain, no suffering. Ugh. Like, uh, watching them sit around that campfire and not do anything. Wow. So entertaining. Too comfortable. No, we always, well, we do something, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like half of the tasks that we ask you to do are just things that you need to do yeah. to survive camping. No, sorry. It's more like, okay, I get there, I'm starving and then I have to do this thing and then I can't, I can't buy food first. You know, I got to like buy the important stuff. Yeah. Like Sid, like, Sid and Scar were setting up the, tent for so long and Sid was starving and she couldn't do anything. So to be fair, you guys kind of screwed them there. Like (laughs) Sid said, like, great, give the two people with Aphantasia the job of building the tent. (laughs) Yeah, but she was also like, this is it. Like, my ego is in check. Like, I have to do this. So I was gonna, I was helping them initially. I'm like, they have enough hands. I'm gonna go to min-max this. I'm gonna go do the steps. Um, (laughs) Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go get steps in. But... (laughs) <laughs> I think as the tent went on, yeah, it yeah it became it became a challenge. No, because also like we we structured this again. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but we structured this in a way where it's like you guys get this, which then unlocks this, which then unlocks this. Yeah. Um, and it's all kind of to improve your your uh, living and experience there. But what's funny is like the tent is the thing that we assumed you guys would get done first. Mm. And it was like one of the last, like it was starting to get dark. I'm like, you guys should really get something over that tent. <laughs> <laughs> it starts snowing. I'm like, where's our tent cover? Yeah. Like where's Dude, the top of the- we barely got the fire like started like halfway through. Like the, it, ha- it happened <laughs> halfway through. Like the, di- the light was gone almost by the time we got it. It did take three of us to turn a light, uh, to, to screw in a light bulb. That was like a lot. The fire- was a pro- the fire in the tent. Yeah, the and two had struggles. it have not been for one crucial item that we normally would not bring with us, like, we wouldn't have... All- the mm-hmm. fire would have taken even longer. Yeah. It's the crazy okay, wait, Actually, okay, so now I'm kind of curious. Yeah, if we had no structure to the video, we just gave you all the supplies and said, okay, camp. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with I that. mean, if you gave that us a I fire happy starting to kit, that'd be, yes. that'd be fine. It would just be such an enjoyable experience. I mean, this was also an enjoyable experience. No, I like I'm, I'm being dramatic. It was fun. I yeah. had a great time. It's also really memorable. I'm just like, mm-hmm. must we suffer? No, well, all like, the time? like my bet is that you guys won't actually have a camp ready. Like, I think you will suffer Wait, more. Really? Yes. I think if we gave you everything, but we're like, okay, do it without us like having to like railroad you into it. I think what? like, you would not have a tent ready by night. Uh, everyone's going to be hungry. Wait, he uh, thinks we can't so, start wait, a fire with the fire so, starting what if at all. Structure, like, you know, in the forest, you have a notebook. You're like, ksh, ksh, my son's missing. I need these steps to start. Like, I need to make, <laughs> I need to make camp. I need this food. There's like random luggage around with food in it. <laughs> there's I mean, a cliff bar in this one. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Like, like then, oh, there's a note in this tree. <laughs> you're like scavenging. Yeah. I'm imagining like when you, when you, or in the forest, you get off the plane. Like the plane just <laughs> Oh, crashed. the game, the forest. Yeah. 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 Wait, that could be the next one. Oh, yeah. Let's bring on zombies. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Wait, no, be the stop. Zombie? I know you're no. no. It's not a the good one, idea. The so one I didn't hear that. Sorry, thing yeah. I will just never do is like a haunted house or like stay really? at like a haunted, scary. Come on, one day. I will literally. One day. That's, that's the one thing. That's the one thing. Just, oh, but, but 24 hours? I get scared of Minecraft. She's in. She, yeah, she, she's I would, actually about to do that. She's actually scared. scared. Yeah, I'm trying to think like if I, I might like be able to stay there, but I will never do a Ouija board. It's so, like I'm down to like be 
but I will be terrified. But no Ouija boards. If there's ever a Ouija board, I'm I out. mean, Ouija board is always just that one person who's actually moving it. And they're like, I'm not moving it. It's not me. Or, wait, are you moving it? But it's fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can I always, know. every time I've used a Ouija board, I feel someone else moving it. And I see their hand tense. And I see their muscle yeah. move. I'm like, John and the then detective. they look at you and wink. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh. They wink. And they know like, my mom's Shh. name. <laughs> crazy are you here with us <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me of did you guys ever use that um what was it like like ask peter or something <gasps> yeah, oh, this website? You did? Oh, I, yes. I was yes. so sold on that as a kid yeah. i was asking everything um, and then i'm like only my friend can give me the answers this is crazy <laughs> and then I, it was broken to me yeah sorry ask again yep you what is, what is it you start with a slash it was a so ask peter was this website you'd use to prank your friends um it always started with yo have you heard about this the website like it like somehow knows everything about you and then your friend will be like what and you're like yeah look you go to the website and then the way you do it is you're supposed to type in like hey peter can you answer a question for me but really what's happening is you type in a slash and then you type in the answer Hmm. and then on the screen it looks like you're typing that question and then you hit enter and go all right what do you want to ask it and then They'll you get them to ask the question that you've already answered, and then type it in, and then they're like, "What?" Wait, but what if they come up with the question themselves? Before? I think typically, I, I got the steps out of order. I think you would ask them first, like, "All right, what do you want to ask it?" And then, oh, yeah. and then you type it, but you type slash whatever. Yeah, but your well, friend yeah, slash. What my friend would say is like, "We have to say the question out loud right now." Yeah. Um, and then we can type it, and I'm uh. like, "Oh, this it's in the mic. It's in the mic. It hears us." <laughs> like, but how would it know that? Even picking up the mic, it makes no sense to me. Like, but yeah, yeah, that one was like like a great prank. Yeah, yeah. For me, that one happened. Uh, there were two that happened at uh, Taekwondo. When I would practice, we would then go into, or after like training, we would go into uh, the. We didn't call him a sifu. I forget what he. Our sensei. We would go into his office and just use his computer. And uh, we would do that one. And then another one was the um, scary maze. Oh, oh my God. That was one where yeah. they were like, okay, turn off all the lights. Ugh. Close the door. I was like, why? I'm just doing a maze? Like, yeah, yeah, but it's like, it's cooler. It's Everyone good. remembers like the first time doing the maze. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have those kind of pranks. I had dumb we ones. We should like, show Vaughn the maze. Oh, have you been to like lemonparty.com or something? That, <laughs> those were the type of pranks that I got. Meat spin. <laughs> The classics. What? what I don't know that? what you looked at me like. Do you oh, know Lemon Party? I don't. Oh. Oh. Can we can we get Lemon Party up on the yeah, screen? Actually, yeah. <laughs> what's that? There's another one. I tried to do that to someone, and when you type it in like a, in like chats, sometimes it gives a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this the one that brings up porn? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's I like know what three this old is. men. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I put a thumbnail, and I was like. Fuck, my prank didn't work because he showed the fuck the thumbnail. You're like, uh, it's on? Yeah. I remember that's how someone got me to go to Meat Spin. was because Leak Spin was popular. And then they were like, oh, here at a Meat Spin? It's like the same thing, but with like a sausage. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually got Meat Spin in Maple Story. Because <laughs> they asked a random person. I'm like, I'm like, where do you get this mage build guide or like this um, Damn. Crus- Crusader Warrior build? He's like, they like that. oh yeah, you just got Meat Spin. I like, got super excited to tell my brother. I'm like, yo, we actually just got the guide. Like, we just need one healer and then like uh, the guys on this website. He's like, what's the website? I'm like, he's meat spin. And him and his friends are like, yeah, go check it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard of that guide website. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my, all right, I'll be right back. I like run over to my PC and like they just hear it out of my speakers. You spin me right. R-. I just hear them <laughs> burst and laughing and into like all type four. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Oh, nine? You really thought you'd find a guide on Meat Spin, huh? I, did, I didn't know. I was like, maybe Maple Story. Nine. The, the fresh spawn. Trying to learn. But a level the warrior super fast. <laughs> with a cleric duo. Oh my gosh. You've been playing a lot of WoW, actually. Oh, and Lethal Company. Oh, wow, Lethal, Lethal Company. Is so funny. Great, great asset. Great asset. Great, what great asset. I have not played Lethal Company yet. So. Really? No. You just have to find out, brother. You will have, have to play. find out. Great asset. Great, great asset. I will say a okay. lot of <laughs> This will be like the Santa. Like, you have to like have your first experience with also other noobs. 
Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I, my mind was not with other noobs and it was honestly really boring. Mm. Uh. I was like, so is that, well, I didn't get to learn the game. I just was thrown into the game and then knew everything. Or it was, yes, yeah, so I was like, this is boring. See, because all I've been hearing is like, hey, have you played Lethal Company yet? I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, I want to be there on your first time. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So much more fun. I do think that Loki, like this, the spark was taken from me. Um, mm. My first time was with Jamie, Lily, and Toast. So Toast knows what to do. And the rest of us are kind of like, so it was pretty funny because, well, like Toast would be like actually trying to win the game. And then Jamie's like, shh, like he's like yelling. And Jamie's like, shh. Let's just chill. <laughs> and it was so funny. I just think you need like chaotic people. Yeah. To, like make your like first experience like whatever. The boombox is the best. It, oh, the it's just awesome. So <laughs> okay. So the I think the great thing about the game is like even if you're lost and you don't know what you're doing, you're having a great time. The timing, the chaoticness, and then also like the comedic relief is just all like perfect. Yeah. And then even if you progress in the game and you get better at it. There's also more to look forward to and like PRs to beat. It's, it's just a good game. overall a, around like all, <clears throat> whoa, <laughs> all around a good game. Yeah. Like I really just don't mind losing in it ever. No. Like I die. I don't feel like hella shitty about dying. It's just more like, it's funny. I fucking die like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think it's as much of a spoiler, but the one nice mechanic in the game is when you die, no one else is alerted. There's no yeah. notifications. Yeah. No one knows. You're just talking like, hello, Broden. <laughs> you there? <laughs> yeah. Did he die? But like, you could be on the other side of the map, like doing your own thing. They just don't know. Mm. And then they think you're dead. And then like, it just plays out that way. And even if you do die, you get to see their, you get to spectate their POV. I did see a clip of, I think, Timmy, um, where he was dead and like kind of hopping around people. And it's like perfectly timed where it was like four or five people in a van or bus or whatever that is. And they're like, huh, where's Jamie? And then he like switches perspective to Jamie, like dying in quicksand. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like you could survive like the craziest thing inside the building from like a ghost or something. You make it out and you just die to quicksand. No. Nope. Yeah. It's a pretty good game. Yeah. All right. I'll have to give it a try. It's fun. It's a good one. And yeah, WoW has consumed me. World of Warcraft has taken my life. Is WoW like, there's like periods of time where people go back to WoW it. is back, baby. Oh, so it's like just back? No. So this one, it was, I saw my boy Simply. He's like a super mario 64 speedrunner and i just never get to play games with them yeah and i just saw him on wow i'm like what and he's playing hardcore wow i'm like what I'm like let's play he's like yeah um we just started this guild like two days ago it's called only things i'm like i'm in i'm sold where do i sign up and it turned out to be Mizkif and soda poppins guild i'm like all right what do i have to do oh yeah you just get a year for sona um <laughs> what is your skill level in games and how much you know about wow i'm like okay <laughs> i could i could dabble with that i get my persona i'm a rabbit they all hate rabbits. <laughs> rabbits are not allowed to speak during meetings. No one likes rabbits. Wow. <laughs> um, I give my skill level, my wow, my wow knowledge, and then you just have to level. And then there's quotas every other every week, and it's like the first week everyone has to level twenty five, or else you're going to learn you're going to lose the guild currency, which is how you get gear. And it's called FKP, furry kitty points, is your currency, and. Later on, it's going to matter a lot because that's how we're going to get our equipment through raids. Mm -hmm. But no one thinks we're going to be able to do it. So, so you just so those points make it so when everyone goes to a raid and they get stuff from it, it trickles down. Yes, the person on the top, let's say all mages, yeah, who has the highest furry kitty points, uh, Masayoshi. Okay, here's your piece of gear. Goes to you. You're going to also lose ten because you got that piece of gear. Now you're back. Now, mm. probably the last mage, but I can build my way back up. Yeah. And we did, we talked about this on the last podcast a bit, but now we have someone who is like n nose to the grindstone deep in it, into it, deep into it. Like I hear yelling from your room at like 5 a.m., 7 a.m., 10 a.m. I'm like, when are you sleeping? A lot of EU friendly streams. My sleep schedule is turned into naps because I have to be on for the auction house <laughs> That's crazy. because the Chinese and European players and Korean players, they all post their auction house stuff at like 5 a.m. So that's prime time for like all the gear to be in the auction house. <laughs> so I'm like on and off. I'm like three hour nap, wake up, auction house. Oh, it's pretty dead and go back to sleep. Another three hours, wake up. I have heard that wow literally consumes your entire oh, life. Yeah. 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 It, it has consumed me. <clears throat> but it's been great meeting random people I would never think I'd ever play with. A lot of downfalls. There's like, I've had survivor's guilt. It's just like these emotions. <laughs> like it is definitely, it's sort of online. Wow. I'm in a dungeon. 
something went wrong. Like everything feels so easy. It's, it's classic. Wow, this game's been out for 19 years. Everyone says this game is so easy. It feels easy. And then one thing, one pull goes wrong and your friend is being mauled by 30 monsters and he's yelling, leave, run, run, leave me. And we're all like, no, no, God, no, we can't leave him. And we all leave the party and you're just, you're just escaping. And then he's just dead. He's because it's, gone. it's hardcore mode. Yeah. It's hardcore. It's if you, literally sword art online. If, you, if yeah. you die, you have to delete your character. It's literally like Gandalf with the Balrog and Frodo's yes. like, Gandalf! He's like, we have to go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no! His name was Shinya. I had just met him through this and he died in front of me. Mm. And it's just like, and I had survivor's go, survivors go, I'm like, I could have blinked, I could have done this, I could have done it. Target dummy, I could have threw a grenade in the back. And he's like, you couldn't have done anything, it's man. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. You couldn't have done anything. And then you have to sleep with that. <laughs> Wait, like, does he get to like remake his character and come back? As a level one. He has to restart. All the way to level 60. I have also died. And how many hours does it take to hit 60? Um, if you're doing it for real. Average, doing it for real. If you're a speedrunner, four days. Four, four days? Four to it's six days in, in game time. That's not like in general, like in game time. Like you playing 12 hours a day. That is so degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> so I died with a hundred. I died. I also died on my first mage, Masayoshi. And I died in front of my one of my tanks in the guild, um, Wake Wilder. And he had survivor's guilt telling me, he's like, yo, I'm sorry, man. I'm like, no, <laughs> it's fine. I'm leveling right now. I lost 190 hours. <laughs> 190 hours. Let me give you the specifics. And all your stuff is gone too. Everything's gone. Like everything that's attached to your character is just deleted. Oh so what everyone is doing is they put all their gold on an alt account. So uh, when they died, they lost their gold that they yeah. just send to their main account. That's but even with a real experience, you don't crazy. trade anything. You put it all on the line. Yeah. Ooh, I have 400 scary. gold just sit on my mage and I see it and like, damn it. 192 hours, 30 minutes and 39 seconds lost. And you're back to 60 now? And I'm back to 60. <laughs> Jesus. My new mage is called <laughs> Quarter Jade. <laughs> dude and let me tell you that is confusing people people are in my chat people are in my discord Jody, it's so cool to see you play wow i've never thought you were into wow i get dms <laughs> of somebody <laughs> screenshotting them seeing me one of my like mutuals on twitter oh my gosh hey i didn't know that you played wow i just ran into you at some wow city <laughs> and i had to be like oh my god that's my boyfriend dad that, uh, i that's not me it's a 50 50 coin flip it was like jody i'm like hi and i do like a cat face <laughs> <laughs> and they're like hmm yeah no i play it off i'm like cool mm. unless it's like it was like brit from like otk side she's like jody i didn't know you're playing we can do dungeons i'm like this is john she's like oh dot 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 <laughs> uh, the Unfair biggest oh. <laughs> she's like is she gonna play i'm like no nah. i've asked her 13 times she's like thank you for your service <laughs> I'm like, i'll see you at 60 she's like i'll see you at 62 <laughs> <We're just laughs> <ended> at <that. laughs> this is giving me that time what there's a time that john was also really obsessed with maple story yeah and alvin was pretending to be oh, me yeah, yeah. Yep. was pretending to be yes you? so john walk around and alvin him and alvin would play all the time together and then for whatever reason they are role playing as boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> I, I really don't know how this started. It was he was he was in deep. He had to see when Jody was streaming yeah. so he wouldn't play Maple Story at the time. What? And he one time he didn't check and he was logged on and then someone went up to like, Jody, aren't you streaming right now? He's like, Yeah, I'm on the side monitor. He's like, John, I'm in deep. I gotta stop this. Like, we, we have to break up in game or something. <laughs> I was like, huh? I'm like just, I'm just, just so tell I didn't them, man. know this. Like, I didn't know it was like that serious because I was like, man, what are, what are you doing in there? Like, what are yeah. you doing in the game? What are you saying? You know? Yeah. Oh well. Like, did were you guys trying to keep up? Uh, like, for who? Maple <laughs> Royals community. We were just bored. <laughs> RPM. Yeah, for nothing. For no for one. Absolutely not for nothing. viewers. Not for anything. Maple like, Royals. You can't even yeah. stream it. We were just bored, or you're just having fun, doing couple shit. <laughs> we we're gonna get. We were gonna get married. I have my. I have my marriage ticket on me too. In my shop. That's also so degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys pick like the top level degenerate thing. To like do. fake e dating yeah. and World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> That's just crazy. Like the top two is like, I didn't think you can make Maple Royals like that, like, but you took it up. <laughs> I'm impressed. That's so good though. Crazy. So why'd you stop then? Because of WoW? Did you stop Maple Royals for a while? Pretty much, yeah, actually. Oh, wow. Um, MMO to MMO. But, like, actually, I also got addicted to Valorant again. Um, I even pretty much had a guild on Maple Story or Maple Royals because you have to do, like, daily dungeons. You can only do it once. But then I got addicted to Valorant. But then this WoW thing came up. I got COVID. Best thing that happened for WoW because I was going to get behind. <laughs> what? Du dude. Okay. Silver lining, truly. 
in one week i got like 72 hours in on wow it was insane wow covid gets you productive huh it was this crazy really best thing that happened to the guild even though that character died but you know <laughs> good times well, he gave up the degenerate thing for an even more degenerate oh, thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just trading a degeneracy for gen degeneracy. Yeah. It's good, though. You should join. <laughs> oh, no. Well, those, back. those days are behind me. My de I've had my degenerate days and <laughs> scared to go no back to that. No one wants to play WoW here. <laughs> well, I tried playing the I've tried playing WoW once, and I couldn't make it. Is the ladder in the tutorial? The ladder? The ladder. There's a ladder. You have to climb up. I am Dog, don't know what There's no yeah. ladders. There's only elevators. There is one. I couldn't make it up the ladder. Maybe it's class specific. And I don't think anyone can climb a ladder. <laughs> See, maybe maybe you're not supposed to climb a ladder. <laughs> no, I swear. I, no, there's. There, I had a witness. Okay, to me climbing this ladder. Okay, and they just laughed forever because I couldn't get up this fucking ladder. I think. I think they're laughing because it was like, was like, was like <laughs> giggling because they're like, <laughs> was there like are you e telling me climb? that there's no ladder I have to go up and they were you, laughing because it's impossible you, for me to go up the, but yes. they went up the ladder and they said ha oh, like just come up and I just couldn't come up I don't think climbing is an action in World of Warcraft there's not you can't like do e was I supposed to jump and and fly up there like, or what? stairs or something it was it was some type of stair it's stair ladders so I'm very new to WoW the only thing I know is there's elevators that you just stand on and it goes up or there's just stairs you walk up. It was definitely wild because I I changed into a leper gnome. And I had a water elemental following me around. Okay, yeah, you're a mage. Yeah. I like that you said you're very new to WoW when you have 190 hours on a character. Okay, so I in this guild, we have like the people that have world first hit level 60, world first cleared Naxxoramus in hardcore WoW, which is the, the final boss. Like these hardcore players. And there's me, I'm like... So what's the rune? What's that about? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I, I'm asking the most basic questions. Do you still get things where you can change? Like, can I still turn into a leper gnome? No. In, in classic, it, there's just four, four classes. Damn it. Is that, or was that like a Halloween special? What about a Halloween special? I ate a candy. Yep. And I became a leper gnome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I gotta walk around like. There was a Halloween event. They do have like events. Okay. But like, it's. It's like a trick or treat event, and okay. you get tricked, and then you get turned into like a a goblin, which I think is pretty sick. Yeah, I thought it was pretty sick. Damn, that was pretty degenerate. We talked about WoW for a really long time. <laughs> Here, I'll transition us. Yeah. Okay, so are you? Holidays are coming up. Are you? Are we all leaving for holidays? And oh. what, how does that affect your WoW career? <laughs> <laughs> Very important question. So I don't. I've missed the last two guild meetings. So like, or no, maybe three. Cause I'm like, oh, I can make him like, oh, I have a shoot. Oh, uh, maybe I can make this one. Oh, wait, it's Thanksgiving. Maybe I can make this one. Oh, I have to go to Mammoth. And they're like, do you even care? <laughs> do you even care about the guild? I'm like, honestly, you're pretty good. Cause I feel like some people would bring their laptops with them. So I didn't think I was going to have internet. I heard we're going in bumfuck nowhere. Yeah. I did bring my laptop to Thanksgiving to check on auction house stuff. But other than that, would you like to say anything, Jody? <laughs> Oh, nothing, nothing. I just saw some distress. <laughs> I was there. giggling. I was, honestly, I'm glad that you can't make all the meetings, you know, for important things like Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to be present off the computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you are going home so for the holidays. Christmas? I'm just filling out the group, honestly. My parents, my parents' main thing is like, you have to come to one thing. Thanksgiving or Christmas. Or, um, you get one a choice. Of, yeah. I, got, I go home for Christmas every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. John usually comes with me. Oh, okay. Oh, so you guys do Thanksgiving at his, Christmas at hers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about that because this was the first time I went to Thanksgiving with John. Um, specifically because, yeah, like Thanksgiving with John means Christmas with mine because I said I kind of always have to go Christmas with my parents. Um, I was like, does that mean that I'm destined to never eat my mother's Thanksgiving food ever again? No. Because like that's, it's really sad. I, I mourned that thought. No. <laughs> I feel like we just switch it. I mean, last time we did Thanksgiving, like you did Thanksgiving and Christmas, but I went to Christmas with my, pa my family. Mm -hmm. I think we should do a little switch up. Mm. Or John will fly in after Christmas and like spend yeah. mm. four days in Washington with me and then yeah. we'll fly home together. Saying his and hers reminded me of the game of King's Cup we played last night. Oh my God. <laughs> that was God. the most fun King's Cup I've actually ever played. <laughs> yeah. Everyone here this weekend played a, a very rousing game of King's Cup. Where, uh, who, who made that rule of he and she? Oh, Kevin. It was. Yes. Yes. Kevin made a rule that 
basically <laughs> boiled down to everyone could only refer to each other as he or she. Turn us into, uh, into cavemen. Yes. Yeah. No, no, you, I, us, we, things like that. For those unfamiliar with the King's Cup, uh, there's lots of rules attached to cards and whatever. And every so often you can make a rule. And if you break the rule, you have to drink. He made this rule <laughs> and it messes with your mind so much that you're, you just simplify Caveman. everything to she hungry, yes. she, she turn, uh, <laughs> he, he pull a card, she no drink, she has to drink. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where the game is done, we're going on a walk outside and everyone is continuing, like we are cavemen still. Stuck in your head. Yeah, you, we like, couldn't snap out of it. It became kind of easy though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was natural. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> But even like we, like you couldn't say we or us, so we, we'd be like, uh, yeah. he, he, all. she, she, all. Go. Yeah. <laughs> all. Oh, I uh. remember because Jody said something like, hey, person who's standing up in the kitchen can you give me this? I was like, that's kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> he has a name. <laughs> man in kitchen, get water. You have to give everyone a name. Tall man. Yeah. Tall man drink. Yeah. J Dog. Film light man. Yeah. Lighting man. Yeah. And then fun. as part of the game, it's. That also was a, a rude awakening because I had just woken up from a nap and oh, yeah. I, I had a... <laughs> okay, so John is sleeping. John is sleeping, right? And I go in and John... Well, John's like, I'm going to go shower. Okay, five minutes later, I go into the room and he's he's passed out. I was like, I try to wake up. I'm like, hey, John, did you want to shower? The shower's open because he was waiting for someone to shower and he's like... Mm, mm. I was like, do you want me to wake you up? Do you want to shower? And he said, mm, two guard games. I was like, in two card games, you want to be woken up? He's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Two card games happen. I wake him up. I'm like, hey, John, go shower. And he says, okay. Springs up. I'm like, oh, all right. I walk back here. John comes down, sits down to play King's Cup. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so right. in my mind, I thought she was asking me to come play from my slumber. And I was like, yeah, I'll play in two card games. That Like, that's what's playing in my mind. And then she wakes me up in two. I'm like, okay, I'll play. And then I stand up and I just sit at the chair and I crack open a beer. I'm like, I'm ready. And, and he then, immediately has to chug. Yes. <laughs> like I think it was like waterfall. Like, yeah. it was the first we card. We drew an ace and he's like, all right, John, start drinking. <laughs> like, and then I woke like, up immediately. I woke up and an hour in, I'm four beers deep <laughs> with a cocktail in my hand. I'm like, what is happening? <laughs> I would say he she he she tall man tall man pairing <laughs> we're in a bind. Dude, you were a trooper though. Like, imagine just waking up and having it. Okay, feels like college. I'm the phoenix. <laughs> you really were. I'm always reborn. Rise on, phoenix. Mm -hmm. Rise on, rise on. Well, uh, I feel like that's a good way to end this pod with how we ended the the night last night. Mm. Yeah, the pod. I recommend everyone watching play a round of King's Cup with your family or roommates or anyone right now. It's right so now? fun. It's my favorite like drinking card oh, game. Oh yeah. I do love it. It's guaranteed to get you drunk though. So like, you know, drink responsibly. Yeah. It's like very yeah. interactive. Like yeah. everyone interacts at some mm -hmm. point, no matter what. It's a game where you're supposed to concentrate and, and as soon as you mess up once, your concentration will just start failing. <laughs> and then you get more drunk yep. and then it's harder yep. to concentrate. It's a snowball game. Yeah. That's a good one. And you always got a few people who are uh, bring some chaos to it, mm -hmm. and that's when it really gets fun. Yeah, my favorite was uh, uh, where is it? There, maybe at mm -hmm. OTV parties we used to play Kings Cup, and Flowers would be the best like host of it because he just like yells. He's just like, "All right, everyone, all the blah, blah, blah. like." It was. I swear you were there the very first Flowers. party I've ever met you. Flowers was there, and I still remember. It was at the very first OTV house I used to be at. Flowers mm -hmm. is Captain Flowers, the League of Legends caster. Oh, <laughs> yeah. dude, that would go insanely oh, yeah. hard. Yeah. I feel oh, like I have a... Oh, my. It becomes See? like he's casting the yes, game. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. It's amazing. God tier. You just have to have Flowers casting in the background while you play King's Cup. Yeah. Dude. Any caster, yeah. No, that's that's gold. Yeah. Invite a sports caster to your game. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky. Go on speed dial. Anyway, this was episode 42. Thank you for watching, guys. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming. Happy Thanks holidays. For Happy everyone. holidays. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Later.